Hello and welcome to your Thursday One Show live on BBC One and iPlayer with Alex Jones. And Ronan Keaton. Now, Ronan can hardly contain himself tonight as we have the stars from the latest Star Wars series joining us here in the studio. Yes, very very excited. Well, it's time to bring on our starry Star Wars guests. Yes, <laughs> because they are not very long ago in a corner of the One Show studio, not very far away. We're talking about Obi-Wan Kenobi, Ewan McGregor, Darth Vader, Hayden Christensen, and new villain, Reva Moses Ingram. Hey, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, welcome. Great to see you. How are you? How are you doing? Very good. How are you guys? Good. Great. Good to be here. Oh, it's really nice to have you on as a gang, yeah. isn't it? Really it's lovely. Brilliant. And we'll talk all about the new series in a bit. You won't believe how many questions we've had in. When we said you were coming on, literally the whole thing crashed. <laughs> two hours, there were so many questions, and we will get to them at the end of the show. We have to say, Ewan, congratulations. You got married a few weeks I ago. I did, thank very you very nice. much. Very, very, very nice. OK. Now, Hayden Moses, welcome to London. Thank uh, I hope thank Ewan's you. been showing you around the sites. Moses, we hear you like it so much, you're thinking of moving here. Oh, if I had the opportunity, yeah. if I had the nerve, I absolutely would make this my home. What is it you love so much about London? It feels like New York, but better. You know, more <laughs> posh. You know, yeah. Posh. More <laughs> posh. Yeah. We buy us, but it is pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Yeah. So you two, you've been travelling around Europe quite a lot, obviously promoting. Now, have you come across the Eurovision Song Contest? Uh, we have not, no. I mean... <laughs> I'm, I'm from Canada, she's from the States, and uh, our, our only sort of uh, understanding of, of, of the Eurovision is, is from that, that, that Will Ferrell movie, Will unfortunately. Ferrell, yes. <laughs> yeah, close. well, yeah, yeah, it is close. Yeah, it's close. It's actually a real-life European singing contest, right? Last year, 183 million people watched it. It's big, wow. it's flamboyant, it's totally over the top, and it's as if we planned it, because the UK's entry is called Spaceman. There oh, you go. Well, there Richie, you go. Richie Anderson's <laughs> been following its Perfect. journey all the way to Turin. Advice, yeah, advice. And the big night is almost here, so let's go live to Turin to see how preparations are going. Let's say hello to Sam Ryder and our very own Rylan and Scott Mills. Hello, everybody. Aww. Oh, they can't hear us. What a shame, what Aww. a shame. Is it tonight, the actual the No, so the tonight. semi-finals are tonight, oh, 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 and okay. then the final is on Saturday. I think, can Scott hear us a little bit there? No, nothing. Well, I tell you what, shall we talk Star Wars and come back to Turin yeah. if we can? Let's return to a galaxy not so far away, right here. This is <laughs> so exciting. Obi-Wan Kenobi, well, is back on our screens after, what, 20 years. It's so exciting. Uh, what can you tell us about this series? Not a lot. I mean, <laughs> we're trying to keep it, like, really under wraps, and I like that. We're trying to, you know, give the fans the max experience when it drops in a couple of weeks. But, okay. I mean, it's no secret that... Um, Obi-Wan Kenobi is, is somewhat of a broken figure after the episode three, it's 10 years later, and, you know, he's the Jedi Order has been all destroyed and all his friends are either lost or in hiding, and so he's a sort of solitary, lonely, broken man, and that's where the story starts. Well, I'm so excited to show this on The One Show. Let's take a look at the clip. OK. They're coming. Stay hidden. You can't run, Obi Wan! You can't escape him! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it looks so good. Now, it's Ewan, really have good. you been involved in the creation of, of the series? I've been, I've been involved in it. To a degree, yeah. Uh, Deborah Chow is our brilliant director, and she pioneered the worked with the writers and worked on the storylines and everything. I was sort of involved in reading all the different versions of it mm. and giving my thoughts to it, and I've been along for the ride, if you like. So it's been nice for me. Yeah, it's been really nice for me. How much would you have loved to have been in those meetings? Oh my God, he's about to combust. It's so funny. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Moses, you're the new kid on the Star Wars block, yeah. let's say. And for those in the know, they saw you there, your character, with a red lightsaber. Mm -hmm. So we know she's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what you can about your character. Um, that she's passionate and fearless and she will cut anybody down that's in her way. And, um... 
I think people will be able to identify with someone who shows up. I think I think Reba shows up. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Hayden, we've seen you now, full, well, not fully, fully, but we know that you are Darth Vader, uh, the iconic <laughs> Darth Vader. But, but you and you can confirm he's pretty terrifying in the series, right? It really is. It, he is, yes. I, I had a moment, because I, I didn't, obviously, in the three films that we made, I, we didn't, I didn't work with Darth Vader. Mm. So in this, the first scene that we did, we rehearsed it and we were just, and we rehearsed it and, you know, Hayden didn't have the helmet on, whatever. And then in the scene, he comes up from behind me and, Set, we were getting ready and I'm getting my makeup done and then we'd start the show action and I start walking down and then I turn around and there's Vader coming at me <laughs> and I swear like I had this jolt of absolute fear like real fear <laughs> not no I've never had that in acting before you know it was like seven years old again going <gasps> <laughs> the face, the helmet coming at you. But that's oh. amazing if you feel like that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this what is going to be... What are we going to feel like? Yeah. Oh, God. Super. Hopefully something similar, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Hayden, Darth Vader is the iconic villain, one of the original villains. When you hear this music, well, you know he's coming. There it is. That's, that's the theme. How do you transform into a character as big as Darth Vader? Well, I mean, uh, obviously the, the, uh, the costume does a lot of the heavy lifting. Um, but, you know, just just great to get to explore this character uh, at this point in the timeline. Yeah. Um, and, and it was just so much fun to get to, you know, work with Ewan again. And, and scare the hell out of him. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, now, we know you started as Anakin. You were one of the good guys at the beginning. You turned bad. Which, who do you prefer to play, uh, you know, as the character? Which was easier to slide into? You know, I, I guess I have a certain affection for the dark side, and oh. Uh, oh, okay. oh, that it is. I, 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 I like exploring that that whole sort of uh, you know headspace. Um, it was it was a lot of fun. Now, the amazing John Williams, he's composed loads of very famous themes for films and television, and he did the iconic Star Wars theme. He said he wanted to come back to do this one, and this is kind of your theme, yeah. the Obi Wan Kenobi theme. Mm. Have you heard it? Yeah, I listened to it. I mean. They recorded it in Los Angeles with an orchestra, and it was a big deal for them to be able to yeah. do that during, you know, the, the, with uh, COVID and the lockdown and everything. But they managed to swing it, but they didn't allow anyone to go and watch. And it was a real. I'm so, so sad you got that to I wasn't, go there. I wasn't with... actually there, but they gave me a link, so I was able to listen to it live. Oh. And I just sat and I listened to like for an hour. They were listening to him speaking to the orchestra, and Lovely. he never gave Obi Wan Kenobi a theme in the original films, and he always felt like he wished he had. So he's written one for this, and it's really special, you know. Oh it's so special to listen to it happening, cool. to being recorded was yeah. really amazing. And you, Moses, then? Yeah. 2019, you graduated. Yeah. Then, only nominated for an Emmy. <laughs> um, the Queen's Gambit, which, by the way, oh, we, we loved love. as well. Amazing. And now here you are as part of Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that, that's, <laughs> you're doing all right. Uh, it's pretty insane. All of it is really, it's really hard to wrap my brain around what's happening. I try to get really good mental pictures of everything. It's like, hold on, girl. Hold on, <laughs> keep the memories, you know. It's, it's happening fast, but I'm happy to be here for sure. But what we did, we dug out a clip of Ewan on TFI, this programme that was huge here, um, back in 2016, as oh. Train Spotting oh. was coming out, right? Okay. Just to see, just before you became massive. Here it is, 1996, sorry. Oh, 96, yes, not 2016. Here no, oh, you, no, here we go. Okay. <laughs> so you're 24 years old, you're going to be a big star. You ready for it? I'm 24 years old and going to make a film in America, that's all. Are Come you going to be a big star? You're described as one of the finest actors in Britain today. Yeah. Yeah. How good is that? <laughs> that's amazing. Yes. If, if you could, what would you say to your younger self, looking at that? Just to, like, what, what, what Moses just said, to enjoy, you know, enjoy yeah. it and, 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 and take it all in. I think we can, we can worry about stuff and pressures and this, that and the other, and, at the end of the day, everything's all right. You just have to take mm. it in, yeah, enjoy, yeah, it. enjoy live it, it, live it and breathe it, you know. And who knows, maybe in 20 years from now, they will be clipping up this interview. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With you, Moses. Who knows? Who knows? Now, you all went to, <laughs> to, you all went to lightsaber, Jedi lightsaber school for yeah. the film. Ronan's obviously. actual dream. Yeah, my <laughs> dream. Uh, you and Hayden, you guys were awesome 20 years ago. I mean, looking back at the training footage that you guys have there, looking at it there, incredible. How are you this time around? A little bit rusty or back on the horse? 
Look at that. They came back just like that. <laughs> I was in there trying to like learn stuff, and they had it all figured out. I was like, oh, I don't want to be the one that messed this up. We How started together, didn't we? We, we started did. like you know, we started shooting in April or May. I can't remember, but we started in January because I because the the fight sequences are unbelievably tiring to do. And I'm 51 now. You know, I was 50 then. I thought you're not 51. I am. I'm 51, so I thought, oh my god, I've got to got to be up to speed because I knew so my fitness was like really important we started working out yeah, three to three times a week with the stunt guys and the fight guys and it's amazing how just training to do that kind of thing does yeah. lift your your fitness you know Crazy. It's great stuff Amazing. though that yeah. looks so good well Obi-Wan Kenobi starts streaming on Disney Plus from May the 27th and yeah. I can't wait if you know somebody who deserves a one big thank you, please email us. The address is one big thank you at bbc.co.uk and tell us why they're so special. Yes, please do. Now, time for some of your messages. We have had thousands. Tons. Thousands when Broken we the internet, yesterday. they have. Yeah, first one up. Uh, <laughs> you and lots of people have been asking uh, about you adopting a camel. Oh, Sorry. yeah. Sorry. Yeah, well, Obi Wan rides uh, EOP in the series and. The EOP was played by Silas, who is a huge camel, mm. and I really fell for this camel. And he seemed to <laughs> quite like me. I think, to be fair, we it was a two-way thing. And I was speaking to his um, trainer, and he called me cowboy, which I quite liked. You know, oh, he was yeah. like, "Come on up, cowboy," and I'd get on Silas, and and he told me, I said, "I really like Silas." I was asking about looking after camels, and he went, "We're looking for a home for this one because we're going to retire him." And I was thinking, "Wait a minute, <laughs> I've got room for a camel." But anyway, I don't think we're going to see it through. But uh, for a moment, I thought maybe I could have a camel. Wow. wow. It's a good anecdote anyway, isn't it? Yeah. It's brilliant. It's <laughs> yeah. OK, yeah. Uh, Hayden, on kind of the same theme, uh, a viewer says, after your first Star Wars films, you took a break and hang out on a farm in Canada mm. where you had two favourite dogs. But what happened? Is there a story? Ah, yes, my dogs. Um, um, well, I, I kept quite a few animals at my farm. Uh, and so I had these dogs that would look after the sheep, and they lived with the sheep. And th they were sort of getting bigger over time, and I didn't quite understand it. And uh, it turned out that one of the neighbor's dogs came over and had some fun without me knowing. And, <laughs> and, and they were oh, both no. pregnant. I walked into the barn one day, and there was this litter of puppies. And then the next day, the other one, and, and I had like 14 puppies all of a wow. sudden. Ooh. Hey, Dan, that is too many in anybody's book, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it was great at first. I loved it. Yeah. It's going to have Sadly, a little that is dog sled all team. <laughs> we've got time for. Uh, thank you to our guests, to Iwan, to Moses, and to Hayden. It's been lovely. And good luck to Sam on Saturday night as well. Good Don't luck, forget Sam. the yeah. next Eurovision semi final.